Andrew Haley, I'm very excited that you're here. We're very honored at Sick Kids to have you. Um, you are a world champion swimmer. Correct. And you've spent some time in hospitals when you were a kid and yeah, growing up. I did. I uh, yeah. I was six years old, like well, a lot of the kids probably watching, going through some tough times. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, lost part of my my leg. Wow. Uh, so this is what I walk around with every day. But uh, a lot of um, great doctors and nurses back home in my hospital in Halifax with the IWK. Yeah. And uh, was able to make it through. So I just wanted to share that with everybody and. Stay strong, and um, hopefully better days are ahead. Yeah, and so so this happened to you. You spent a lot of time in the hospital, mm -hmm. and you said you're a cancer survivor. Right. Can you tell us a bit about the sport that you do and how you got into that? Sure. So um, okay. I, I, I did floor hockey, basketball, normal things that kids would do. Yeah. Uh, may not have been the best at it, but I tried. And uh, when I was 15 years old, I found the sport of swimming and mm. uh, gave it a go, and before long, uh, I, a year I was on the national team, Whoa. Um, a couple years after that I was winning medals at the Paralympic Games and wow. uh, a lot of training uh, every day and was able to win you know, these types of medals here that we see beside me. <sighs> you guys, there's medals. There's medals. I, I think I, they deserve a close-up. Did you? Can you talk about each medal and, and how you got it and we'll do a close-up? Sure. Yes, okay. This is so exciting. Hi everyone. Okay. Okay, so this medal here, uh -huh. this is from Commonwealth Games. Okay. This is um, just a step below the uh, the Olympics or Paralympics. Okay. This medal is from Canada, though, and it was a real honor to race inside my home country. Yeah. Um, there's a dent on the medal, so if you come see me, you can see the medal. There's a dent here um, because Prince uh, Edward of the royal family, who was giving it to me at the time, dropped it onto no. the pool deck. No. And uh, they said, do you want a new one? And I said, nope, this adds character. And... Um, here you go. So I was very excited for that. Um, this one here. Yes. This is um, this is medal is about perseverance to me. Um, in 1990, I told my, way back, way back, way back, way back. Um, I told myself I'm going to be a world champion. Yeah. And I believe anybody has the power to dream, to believe, uh, no matter your circumstances. Mm -hmm. And um, it took me many years of shoving snow off the car and getting just giving myself to my sport. And um, when I finally won this medal, this is a gold medal, 100 meter <gasps> butterfly world championship. I just got chills, that's just so fun. On the back yeah. of the medal, yeah. it has Andrew Haley, 100 meter butterfly, October 14th, and the word finally. And the reason I put that on there is because after all those years of doing everything I needed to do in order to get to that level, I finally was able to win world championships. Wow. People say to me, uh, You've sacrificed so much in your career. Um, it's like the parents out there trying to help their kids with, with illness. You've sacrificed so much to help your kids. I have never used that word. I use the word um, invest. You know, you're investing your time to be better. You're investing your time to, to do what you need to do, to do your passion, to do what you love, to do what feels and comes naturally to you. And then a few years later, this is the, the heavy one, if you will. Um, yeah, why? This, this is... Uh, a gold medal from the Paralympic Games, the same ah! as the Olympic Games. Um, it was in a relay. I did the butterfly in the relay. We set a world record. Wow. And um, a it was, world record? It was wow. ding, 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 ding. I mean, it just it's just great. So when I set this, we we tied uh, another country for most gold medals in the pool. Our girls uh, swam the next race after ours, yeah. and we we won the most gold medals any country for Canada. Round so of applause! It was, That's so great. It was great. great. Yeah, thanks a lot. It was it was, wow. it, was a, it was a fantastic moment, um, and I'm lucky because I get to share this with other people and yes. to be able to come here uh, to share. So it was. Um, it was, it's a really nice thing to be able to do that, and I'm really happy to be here this morning. Oh, it's so great to have you. This is very special. Yeah. Very rare to be in the same space as some gold medals. <laughs> wow. Are they heavy? This one's kind of heavy, yeah. yeah. This, these ones, not so much. Wow. But, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, just that it's just that mindset of being a champion. When I was in the hospital, like, like a lot of the kids watching, I, um, you know, you, you're, you're just, your reaction is just to fight just to fight everything that's going on with you at that particular moment in time. And maybe that was the same thing that happened to me in the pool. I was just a fighter and I just wanted to accomplish great things. And know this, there's there's a lot of great opportunities out there for you after you get out of the hospital. And um, while this might be a, 
a setback right now, it's not going to be a setback forever. And I just think that um, you can you can do whatever you can do uh, without limitations. And back in uh, back in 2002, I was I was training. I always thought I, there's no way I can set a world record in the 100 meter butterfly. I was short because I, I had l diminished lung capacity until wow. until this one magical swim in Victoria. Um, I broke the world record. Wow. And there's no limits. There's no limits on any one of us. So if we just believe in ourselves with everything that we have, I yeah. truly feel that uh, you can accomplish greatness. So the question was, how was it like to finally receive your gold medal? Uh, it was, thanks to the question, it was very special, obviously, to receive gold medal. But yeah. I think anytime you work hard for something and you accomplish it, um, yeah. you feel good about it. So whether it's a gold medal or whether it's a good grade on a paper in school oh. or whether it's doing chores around the house and your parents say, good job, yeah. any sort of recognition of, of, a, of something that you've worked hard on and you have put some effort into, uh, it was fantastic. So to be able to um, have that medal for my performance was, uh, was a really great feeling. What do you think about in your mind when you swim? Technique. Oh. So the things I've learned over the course of the training, making sure you're powerful in your stroke when you swim down, um, the, uh, the the race strategy, how I'm Whoa. how I'm swimming relative to somebody else, making sure that I'm not doing too much. So making and this uh, this happens, stuff happens really fast. So you're so, you're working very hard. Very in hard. In your mind and in your body. Yeah. It was so wonderful having you. So Andy. great Thank being you here. So much and sharing your amazing medals and your story. Yay! Yay! Um, so today, yay! yay! Keep it going, <laughs> I can do this all day. Yay! yay!